go back to the academic stuff academics is out here um beefing this horsey santana and the funny thing about it is that if i'm not mistaken it's kind of his own fault if i'm not mistaken this kind of started because he started glowing at glorilla him and glorilla had a bit of a weird back and forth um i'm not really too sure why i think maybe glorilla might have started it actually i think she was ranting and kind of you know at on live about Kai Sina and the alleged falling out they had um, because um, he didn't like her song and she ended up blocking him. And then I think Academics was reacting to those clips. And in the reaction of those clips, he somehow decided to go in extra hard on Glorilla. And then going in extra hard on Glorilla led to him somehow dissing the City Girls that then led to him going at Carisha the most, who obviously is the ex or the current fling of Diddy's, and also one of the best friends of Saucy Santana, which is how he got involved. So technically, if you think about it, it's basically Academics' fault what's happened now. So um, Academics Saucy Santana have a weird back and forth where the end reply from Saucy Santana was that he would beat up Academics and then he would rape him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he threatened academics with he threatened academics with a physical beating and a buttocks beating and for whatever reason the thought of getting raped by another man after losing a fight has just fought, filled um dj academics with absolute dread to the point where he started crying yes i'm not lying academics started crying at the thought of another man beating him up and making him fuck it's absolutely crazy let's watch the video here bro with everything we've talked about bro i've never cared about i don't care what rapper got at me bro ever but like really there's certain shit i'm over i really don't fuck with in my <laughs> life and i would never do but like i gotta Sit here and act like I know I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in America. I gotta sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. <laughs> His voice is shaking and he's actually crying. This is when I saw because I never believed at first that academics was, was Jamaican. But this reply, the way he's replying, the way his voice is shaking and he's actually crying, now I legitimately believe that he's Jamaican. Only a Jamaican man would react this way. Um, <laughs> at the threat of being beaten up by a gay man and being threatened with fucking rape only a real jamaican man only a real yard man would react this way because if you know anything about the jamaicans over there um homophobia as a word it doesn't really exist in their dictionary <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> you know it's which is which is which is ironic too because there's a lot of gay guys in jamaica right they're super super homophobic but there's many a many a gay people in jamaica also so it's very strange but anyway um academics is just literally crying on stream at the fort because he's 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 crying because of that don't get me wrong but also he's crying because he knows he can't go as far as he wants to go with the back and forth with saucy santana because the platforms will turn his lights off and he already keeps bragging about how much money he makes and the money that he makes allows him to fuck loads of ratchet girls and is able to retire his mother with the salary that he makes and have all these cars and these houses he ties a lot of his self-worth you know of course rightfully so because of the work he's done to the money that he has so the thought of having that go away <laughs> <laughs> because he dropped a couple of f-bombs or he called somebody a batty boy or whatever is filling in with absolute dread he's so scared it's unbelievable he's actually crying <laughs> let's do it again for the top one more one more again for the top everything we've talked about bro i've never cared about i don't care what rapper got at me bro ever but like really there's certain shit i'm over i really don't fuck with in my life and i would never do but like I gotta sit here and act like I know I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in America. I gotta sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. I would never like it. <laughs> I would never like. You don't know until you try, academics. Come on, man. You don't know until you try. <laughs> i will never like it you don't know until you try bro come on man give it a go give it a go mate you never know <laughs> touch a little wiener come on just just with your tongue i think just it a little just on the tip 
he would definitely k himself if he did that in it if somebody like imagine that like white kid banter right i don't know if you have it in the in the u.s but um we call our one um what, what they call it um lads banter right it's awful lads banter white guy lads banter is awful in the uk where sometimes at sleepovers you know guys will fucking put their dicks in other guys mouths while they're sleeping and shit as like a banter and, and laugh and take pictures of stuff imagine that happened to academics and he found out there was pictures going around of his friends you know putting lipstick on himself and shit like he would go he would go wild he might k himself if that happened so he's lucky he hasn't grown up over here mate because some of the guys over here are fucking wild. Um, let's continue. My nigga put Iggy right now. He would have cried. Yo, just please. I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 yeah, I get that mix, man. Nah, he can never live this down. People are going to start trolling him in his comments. Every time he gets spicy, they're going to threaten him with Saucy Santana. They'll be like, do you want, do you want me to get saucy? If you if you keep chatting shit, I'll get Saucy Santana. <laughs> They're gonna keep threatening him with Saucy Santana. Saucy Santana is gonna be his fucking kryptonite. I'm begging you, man. I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> it sounds like R. Kelly, isn't it? <laughs> I hate certain shit to, to the soul of me. I, I can't. I, it, it, I'm only pretending. I hate certain shit to the soul of me. Yo, how homophobic is this guy? I hate it to the soul of me. <laughs> he's like he's like um he's like fucking um he's like gay people batman isn't it like he instead of saving them he goes around knocking them on the head and pushing off of buildings and shit like what is he <laughs> he hates gay people so much and the funny thing is saucy santana would absolutely beat the brakes off of him that's what makes it so funny he's incredibly homophobic but he, he's also scared of getting beaten up by somebody that he doesn't really rate right he thinks that gay people are like less than they're half of them that you know they're not as manly as him but the guy that he thinks that is not as manly as him is some definitely a guy who could probably beat him up wearing acrylic nails that's the really sad part about it he's like i say i want to i want to say i will never be here for y'all but that's not my content. I don't want to be that person. <laughs> Young old vibes. Jamaican men hate homosexuality and monogamy. Exactly. Um, he's trying way too hard to make people think he's not gay, which makes me think he's gay. Now, to be fair, Uche, I don't think so. I, I think he legitimately is crying at the thought of having to do a gay act, <laughs> right? He doesn't want. He, he thinks he's going to be in a position where, imagine, he probably has this scenario in his head. He gets cancelled and the only way for him to get like his life back is to like go on stream and like, I don't know, kiss some gay guy. <laughs> and it's making him scared, you know? He's, he doesn't want to do any sort of like gay sacrifice to get his career back. So I think that's what's really making him nervous. That's the one thing. And think about it also, just from a purely boy point of view, he's the kind of guy who knows clearly he only started to get motion with women when he started getting money. So maybe a part of him also thinks, I don't want to go back to where I was before, where he was getting no motion with the ladies without the money. So that's probably what's filling him with dread also. He's like, man, I haven't fucked this much ever in my life. Now I'm fucking every single day because these girls think I'm rich. If the money goes away, I'll be back to like just whacking off into a sock. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't want to go back to that life. So that's why he's probably crying even more so. So now I want to be the person who, just have fun with y'all and some other shit. <laughs> okay, cool. I think I've got another one too to check out, but I think it's the same scene. Let's see. Let's double check on this one. But yeah, Academics Crying is fucking hilarious. Let me see if I can find another one. I think it's the same video, but it might just be closer up like a Zoom. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's the same one. But still, why not, innit? Why not watch it one more time all the way through? <laughs> He's so scared. I'm not trying to get cancelled to fuck up what we got going on. <laughs> I'm never Please, trying to man. I'm never trying to get cancelled, say the wrong thing. I know what we got going on. I love it. Pause. I'm trying not to get cancelled. <laughs> but this shit does bother me. Stick at that ass too, like y'all. Oh man. Yeah, I tried to lighten it up. Put it, it up, like yo, yo chat, yeah. just put it like this. 
bro, with everything we've talked about, bro, I've never cared about. I don't care what rapper got at me, bro, ever. <laughs> but like, really, there's certain shit I've always, I really don't fuck with in my life, and I would never do. But like, I gotta sit here and act like I know I'm in, I'm in, I'm in America. I gotta sit here and just act like I don't fuck with certain shit. I would never like it. <laughs> That's karma, man. That has to be karma. All those years of screaming at people, laughing at people for their first week sales, not selling tickets for gigs and stuff. And in the moment that you have to cry on camera and you're scared for your life is because some gay guy is threatening to beat you up because you're insulting their best friend. That's kind of a level of karma, isn't it? That's sick karmic retribution. It's not some gangster rapper dude that wants to smoke fucking act, that wants to fucking get the drop on him. Nah. It's some random gay dude who happens to be the best friend of this girl that you insulted who wants to kind of defend her honor. And now you're on camera fucking crying. <laughs> this is up there with Fresh and Fit crying, isn't it? Fresh and Fit were talking all that smoke, right? They were getting all these, all these young, vulnerable women online and humiliating them and dunking on them and shit. And then suddenly they get demonetized and they're on stream going, we care about you guys, man. We care about you guys. You know, you guys, you guys. It's like, fuck off, man. Jog on, you absolute weapons. But yeah, <laughs> I'd pay good money. I'd pay such good money to see academics fight Saucy Santana. I swear to God, I'd pay good money to see that fight so badly. I'd love to see that fight. I swear to God I would. Um, anyway.